What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Mr. Investor YouTube channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and happy Friday to wherever you are in the world. The last video I made was covering World of V a few days ago, right after the hatching event. Um, a lot has happened since then, so in this video, we're going to be catching up to speed on what is what has happened and what is going to happen in the future. Um, so with that being said, let's just jump right into it. So this is a Medium article that was dropped a few days ago saying, Introducing World of V mini sets and leaderboards. Um, and what goes on to say that regardless of which cards anyone owns, um, we do know one thing, all of them will be valuable and they'll all have a place within the ecosystem and they go on to explain why. So right here is the collector's card. And this is a special card that can only be acquired by completing the entire Genesis collection set consisting of 200 cards. And what's special about this card is that it comes in a limited edition of 50 pieces and will boast a stunning 50k World of V initial distribution and a 500 World of V daily generation. So just to put that in perspective for you guys, the regular Genesis cards only generate 10 World of V and this one is doing 500 V every day. So it's a huge significant increase there. And then on top of that, they also added in an extra feature for the X Note cards. Um, the X Note card will act as a wild card, allowing collectors to replace one Genesis card of choice. By owning an X Note card, you'll be able to acquire one of the cards you're missing to complete the set. The max amount of X Note cards that can be used as a wild card is three. Once an X Note card is used as a wild card to claim the collector's card, it can't be used again to claim another one. And the same applies for the Genesis 2021 cards used to claim the special cards. In order to claim the special card, the collector will need to directly contact the World of V team. And once the card is correctly claimed, we'll activate a one week cool off period during which the collection will need to stay locked in the same address. And daily snapshots will be taken to ensure the lock is in place. And so the first two sets that they have introduced are the Moon set and the Africa set. The Moon set, you need the cards of Russia, USA, and China, and this will reward you with a 10K World of V distribution and a 50 World of V daily generation. And just like the collector's card, it is a limited edition of 50 pieces. And this is the card right here, which is pretty cool looking. And then the Africa card comes with um, 20K World of V initial distribution and 100 World of V daily generation. And again, 50 pieces only, but this one, you need 54 cards to complete this little mini set here. So those are the first two sets that have been introduced here, and they also are introducing a really cool feature that I am excited about, which is the World of V leaderboards. And so it says that within the next few days, they're gonna be implementing two main community leaderboards, the top collector leaderboard and the top buyer leaderboard. The top collector leaderboard will rank the best collections in the community, to answer the leaderboard, collectors will need a combination of three factors, number of cards held, average mint number, and the average card ID. The top buyer leaderboard will rank the most active collectors on the marketplace in terms of transaction volume. You might not own a big stack of cards, but a few big ones might get you on top of that list. And then it says, the best three collectors of each leaderboard will be rewarded a special NFT medal to add to their collection on a weekly basis collect the trophies to become a World of V superstar. So I'm really excited about the top collector because that's just an extra incentive to collect these cards, especially if you're going for mint numbers. So I am curious to see who the top the top wallets are. So we're just gonna have to wait and find out. And in the Medium article, it showed the USA card and this is the Africa card. So these are really cool. And this was created by Alabo David. So let's make sure we give him a follow on Twitter and his social medias. And so this was their tweet just saying that the event had been successfully completed and that World of V is officially launched. And then right after that, less than 24 hours from the hatching event, the first collector's card had been claimed. So that is insane. Um, specifically within eight hours. So this guy or this person has the first card, which I'm sure is going to be extremely valuable if they choose to sell it, if it's even sellable, I'm assuming it is. Um, and then we also have to remember here that the 200 cards that were put into this to make this collector card cannot be used again for this specific collector card. So it is going to be much difficult 
the more cards are used and the more collector cards that have been given out. Just keep in mind. So if you're going to go for um, the collector card, you might want to do it sooner than later because the chances of you getting it later on is going to be extremely difficult. Next up, this was dropped yesterday. Uh, introducing V hashes, World of V first PFP collection. And then it goes on to say that, as you already know, World of V's goal is to create an integrated ecosystem that allows digital content creators to share their work in an engaging, fun way. Whether you're a NFT artist or a VFAM member, our platform will offer everyone the opportunity to bring your art to life and reach a broader audience. Our recently launched Genesis 2021 collection represents the pillar of the World of V platform, the foundation that will enable all the moving parts to fall into place once the engine ignites. With a successful hatching event behind them, after months of undercover work, it is finally time to unveil their second original project, which is V Hashes. V Hashes is a first PFP collection of 10,000 unique NFTs featuring a fun creative visual style. Um, the collection celebrates the VFAM community by giving life to our beloved Vs, get ready to rock your favorite V-shaped avatar, and share the love for VChain across your social media. Each V-hash comes with its own sparkling personality, specific traits, but each one is different from the other. They have a unique combination of designs, backgrounds, skins, and special symbols, and they'll possess different rarity traits that will make the game super entertaining. So this is super cool. I'm, I'm really excited about this because I love abstract, like, funky looking stuff like this. And I think that when you look at something like this, at least to me, it just stands out and it catches it catches your eye. So um, absolutely, I'll be participating in this and I'm excited for this to drop when the time is right. Next up, we have Vet Pets here. This is their October roadmap with great things coming. And then they specifically said, get ready for the wildest collection on the blockchain, soon migrating to World of V2. So on October 3rd, they're sending the Gen, the Gen 1 collection to World of V to start the minting process. And then the following week after that on October, or week 40, October 7th or so, um, you'll be able to mint these Gen 1 Vet Pets onto World of V. So I'm super excited with that. We'll have World of V, we'll have Vet Pets, and then V Kings will also be launching onto um, World of V. They have decided to go down their own little path there, but they will be featured on World of V as well. So again, super cool and super excited for this marketplace to really stand out. And then just looking at the World of V address here, they have a total amount of 16 million vet received from the transaction fees. But last time I made this a video on this, there was only a thousand, just under 1,200 transactions onto the marketplace. Now there's 2,800, which is, if we're going to do the math, that's a 138% increase. So the marketplace is alive and well. The Telegram is alive and buzzing. Um, I'm super excited for what the future holds. And guys, I, I would recommend you to at least take a look and see what's going on here before you put any money in. But I think this is something you don't want to miss out or sleep on at all. Um, but that's it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at the Mr. Investor. And until next time, I will see you then.